Hey there, this is Ron. Are you looking to gain deeper insight into how users interact with your product? Welcome to Post Hog, the ultimate platform for uh, you know product analytics session, replays, and feature flagging all in one open source solution. Whether you are a startup founder, product manager, or developer, Post Hog provides all these tools you need to track user behavior, analyze trend, and optimize your product's performance. In this step-by-step -step guide, I will walk you through how to use Post Hog to set up event tracking, analyze user session, and make data-driven decisions. So first of all, just go to Google, search for Post Hog, and uh, you will find the first link here. That's the official one. Now, before moving forward, let's go and talk about the pricing. So it is totally free. You can see here, but uh, obviously uh, they have their own pricing session. So here you can see you can just go and select the user region here right and if you scroll down you can just see there's uh, some of the different plans so if you are a big enterprise you can go and talk to a human basically they will just give you custom pricing here right this is also which is called ridiculously cheap okay now you can come and compare each and every plan here right and that is pretty cool now let's go and click on get started free right if you just want to check uh, you can watch this complete video by the way if you're thinking to buy there's a link given in the description please use that now here you can see I will just use my Google ID. You can just create a new account here just by entering your another email if you want to. I'll select the email address here, click on continue. Now here you have to just write your name, right? Now organization, so that is Filex Express. What is your role? So let's say it's a uh, regarding founder, right? But you hear about us, you can just write here Filex channel click on create organization so uh, for those who don't know post hog is an open source product analytics platform designed to help businesses understand user behavior and improve their product right now which product would you like to use right so you can choose all of them right or you can just a simple so I'll just choose all of them because I don't know which feature you are going to use so I'll just make sure and click on go here by the way it provides you a lot of things it offers a lot of things which we will talk about right now here you just need to install so for example and depending upon on which database or on which platform you have made your website you can choose up from here so let's say it's html you know snippet here so i will just go and click on uh, you have to just copy this up you can see here add this snippet to your website within the head at the top right and tag and you will be ready to start using post hoc so that is really easy thing to do so you can just copy from here I will skip this part because uh, we already know how to do here now set up your configuration so here you can turn this off and you can give access whichever you want right by the way i want to go back and talk about a few things here for example this is really important right enable session recording so this session uh, help me to watch how user experience or how they use the app right and how they um, you know interact with the app this is enable web vitals auto capture right enable heat pumps which is pretty good feature so you can choose uh, the feature depending upon your need here. Now you can link data. So you can use Stripe, HubSpot if you use, then you can link it up. So it's really easy. For example, let's I'll just go with the Stripe. I will enter my Stripe uh, account ID, API key, and this is a uh, this is optional, right? So just go and click on next, and automatically your account will be get linked, right? So this is how you can do it, right? And you can see here this is self managed. So you can choose uh, if you. Or use these platforms here or you can just integrate with another one now click on skip i will just skip this part right in your case you can just do this now this is totally cheap this is ridiculously cheap right so you can see here you can start with the six project right and all these features i will just go with this one because just to show you now this is invite your team members obviously you are a solo founder you can be uh, there's no doubt on that but if you have a team then you can just enter their email address and you can just give them an invitation right now once you give them an invitation you can just uh, choose here that what kind of invitation you want to give so this is regarding admin this is owner or just a member right so i will just go and click on finish here right and uh, this is the exact dashboard which is going to be right and we are now ready to use post hook it provides you some features, for example, event tracking, session replay, feature flags, furnace and retention, and customer dashboard. We will talk all about it here. Now, you can see on the left side, there's a lot of menu things here, right? And this is a quick start, so it will help you to set up each and everything. 
which you can do it for example in just your first event invite a team member all this stuff here which you have already did now we'll just go one by one and let me close this up so the dashboard gives you all this information what is happening in your exactly in your team what is happening in your um, you know organization right so you can just check it's a bird eye view so you can check whatever happening right uh, what's the exact status right you know just a single dashboard now this is a dashboard right now we have just created my app dashboard here if i just go and click on it will take me to my app dashboard you can create a new one right and it will show you regarding specific project which you're working on now this is a notebook so let me just go and click on this normal thing here now it will just give you some of this information so it's not much much use it's just like a simple guide uh, which will help you to know how in this way you can use the software this is exactly right and all this stuff here right so you can just go and access if there's a new thing coming up you can just check this out right now this is a data management so all the data will be shown up here right regarding the action the properties annotations right so once you uh, you know connect your account integrate your i mean integrate your website everything will be shown up here right all these people which i have given the permission will be shown up in people and group now this is the activity so who is doing what and what is happening in the real time will show up here now from this dashboard is really important because this is where the real things comes up now this is a product analytics now this is just like a report right and it will show you what is happening with your website so what i mean by this because analyzing user behavior is a key to make informed decisions right and this is where post hog help you to do this now for example i want to check the daily uh, you know daily active users so i can just get it from here now what's the weekly active users retentions right and all these use cases by the way these are the inside that's why you can see here on the top right this option of new inside so it's not like you have this is only these insights and you can cannot create your own so you can just go to your your insight and click on new insight here and you can create your own insight for example you want to compare two data how many daily users and how many are the old users or how many of them are new users or recurring users right so whatever you can just go and create like this now how you can do this so for example this is a page view now you can search for an event uh, there will be a lot of events once you have connected to your account and in this way you can just uh, you know you can in this way you can just make it if you want to make a filters in your session or in your analytics uh, whatever it is you can just add a filter so filter could be anything for example text name and there's a lot of options right so pretty easy this is a funnel so you can just go and create your funnel right so it's much more but these funnels are only useful because it requires at least two steps before calculating here it says once you have two steps defined so funnel is for example let me show you okay there's a no matching event for this query because we doesn't have anything here now let's go to the web analytics so this will give you an entire process right what is happening and this is really important because it will help you to analyze each and everything for example how many are the current visitors are in your website how many of them are viewed there in the last seven days right you can change the filter from here for example i want to know the last 24 hours so it will show me exactly each and everything right what's the bounce rate how many uh, what's the revenue and everything if it is uh, uh if your website makes money and all the stuff here by the way you have to integrate then when it's possible but still it's in beta version so it might not give you the exact information in real time now this is a unique visitors so you can just check this up now you can open as a new insight you will just get back to the product analytics now here you can just go and click on plus icon and you can create a new funnel or just analytic right now this is a session replay so this is really useful here so it's a one of the post hoc standout feature it is session replay right and here once you go to the session replay section and select a recording session right recorded section so there are so many users coming up on your website right and you can record each and every user obviously uh, it is not going to reveal the name and everything but obviously you can just view oh this user did this way and they interacted with my website like this for example if it is an e-commerce website so they have gone to a specific thing but uh, somehow they have scrolled up or there's a dead click right they are tapping on this section a lot right so obviously we'll uh, the tapping thing we can just easily get the insight from the heat maps but session replay is something like we can just record each and everything right and that is really cool because you can look for area where you struggle such as a confusing ui element or error use session replay alongside funnel and retention report for deeper insights so this tool provide a first hand look at user behavior 
helping you identify and resolve issue faster right and this is a feature flag so feature flag are another powerful tool in post hoc arsenal now here's how they help so once you go to the feature flag you can specify which user or group should see this new feature start with a small percentage of user and you can do the a and b testing right and gradually you can increase to mitigate the risk right track matrix like usage and feedback to evaluate the feature impact so these tools allow you to safely test and iterate on new feature without disrupting your users so this is pretty cool now same goes for the experiment this is slightly different from feature flag right so you can create experiment which help you to test changes to your product to see which change will lead to optimal result so you can create a uh, one experiment on a very specific users but are completely a same experiment on a completely on a new different set of users so it's automatically and you know calculate let you see if the results are valid and if they are likely to just a chance of occurrence right so it, it's trying to say that you can exactly figure out whether it's this experiment is working or not this feature is working or not right and here you will able to find all your experiments if you archive some of the experiments will show up here right obviously you should not delete any of your experiment you can just archive it now this is survey so you can create survey as it is currently disabled for this project uh, but you can just turn this on surveys basically gather some of these you know you can do research regarding you know market research or your user research right uh, you can just give them oh we are trying to launch this five features let me know which one of the two features are really you guys need it now you can create your first feature directly from here so for this you need to grab your project i mean you just need to connect your api with the html snippet which i shown at the start of this video now this is an error tracking this is really useful because if any kind of error that is happening on your website will show up here to start capturing exceptions and you need to enable you know um, exceptions auto capture so make sure you turn this on and it has been enabled right and this is a sql editor so you can just edit right and if you have connected it then only now this is a data pipeline now everything will be shown up here by the way um, there's a lot of features there's a lot of things we can you can just come up to this you know post hoc and just find it if you just invest a lot of time not a lot of time and daily if you just try to learn there's a learning curve but uh, obviously you will able to grab most of the things here and there you have it a complete step-by-step -step guide to use post hoc for product analytics and search and replay so thanks for watching this video and if you found this video useful, please give us a like and subscribe.